Have you ever heard of a father putting his son in a nursing home? This 75-year-old man is the miserable son. His father Dolly is 102 years old because he thought his son was too old. He wanted to put him in a nursing home. Bob is a standard old man. He knows how to take care of himself. Never take a shower for more than 15 minutes. Obviously, he is in good health. But he has to have a medical checkup every day. And mentally, he is also a proper old man. Like a potato half buried in yellow soil. His father, Dolly, is the opposite. He's 102 years old, but he's a real old man. He plays soccer and plays in a band by day. He spends his nights watching the stars and listening to music. He also completed a solo tour around India. This father and son have lived together for 75 years. They've always disliked each other. One was too loud for the other. One was bored with the other. They even wanted to buy two refrigerators. One day Dolly came back with a portrait. He said he was the Guinness longevity record holder. He is 118 years old. He decided to challenge the world record to live for the remaining 16 years. He reads an interview. He said that in order to live a long life, he must stay away from old age, boredom and lack of optimism. However, his son Bob has all three of these things. So Dolly decided to send him to a nursing home. Bob was dumbfounded. He lost sleep until 4 a.m. At first, he told his dad he was joking, until he called the nursing home. Only then did he realize the seriousness of the situation. Bob didn't want to leave the house. He wasn't the head of the household. But at least he's not a garbage pile finder, right? After watching his son cry and cry and cry, Dolly finally gave in and agreed not to send him to the nursing home, but only if he promised himself a few things. Otherwise, he will come back in 16 years. The first thing is to write a love letter to his wife who has passed away. Bob is 75 years old. He's lost his passion. He couldn't write a love letter. But when his old man glared, are you going to write it or not? If you don't write, you go to the nursing home. Bob could only give in. He racked his brains to remember his youth. Finally, he submitted the manuscript as scheduled. I didn't expect that Dolly would have to read it in public again. He had copied all the love words from the internet. The father is not satisfied. Suddenly Bob took away the love letter because he thought he might get beaten up for what he wrote in the back. But Dolly read it out loud anyway. Dear sweetie, I miss you so much. You know what? My dad is putting me in a nursing home. He's a real son of a bitch. Dolly was furious. Bob quickly explained that he was too excited to write. He wrote it by accident. But Dolly's anger turned to happiness. What? I was excited about writing. After 15 years, you finally got excited for once. And you're finally learning to swear. That's a good thing. It means you're about to get your passion back. Second thing. Dolly had Bob pick up ducklings on a blanket. This blanket has been with him for 65 years. He must have lost sleep without it. Dolly said in a very serious way. This is the first sign of old age. The habit of finding refuge in old things. But Bob wouldn't agree. Dolly had no choice but to change the assignment. This old man is a bit miserable. He is 75 years old. He was almost sent to a nursing home by his father. The old man begged and pleaded, so he was not sent away. But his father demanded. He had to complete the task he set for himself. The second task. Bob needed to go to Mumbai for a day of sightseeing. But the route had to be decided by his father Dolly. The first attraction was the plane in the park. Bob stood in front of the plane and didn't move. His expression is like a child, as if the plane in front of him is not a plane but a childhood, because this is the place where his father used to bring him when he was a child. Bob's childhood joy is carried. The second attraction, the church. When Bob came here, with tears in his eyes, he walked alone in the empty church, sitting on a chair in deep thought. Bob had a child. Amo, once upon a time, he and his wife used to bring little Amo to this church. You could say Bob gave his life's work to his son, raising him up. He sponsored him to go abroad. But Amo settled in America after his master's degree. He didn't come back for 30 years. He only called home once every six months. It's like a routine handout. Dolly asked the old man not to come here. He wanted him to go back to the days when Amo was a kid, to pick up some good memories. And by this time Bob already knew where to go next. The third was a bakery. Bob packed a cake and took a carriage ride to the Sky Garden. All he had to do was cut the cake on the way to give to the poor because that's what he and his wife used to do every year. He and his wife would do on their anniversary. Bob understood his father's good intentions. He picked up the blanket. He proudly told his old man he'd done everything he'd set out to do. But then a strange thing happened. That day Amo called. But Dolly hung up in a hurry. He deleted the chat log. Blacked out Amo. Soon the doorbell rang. Someone brought flowers. 
Signed by Amo, Dolly took a look at it. He hid the card again. Bob couldn't sleep without his blanket. His father dragged him into the living room. The two of them sang and danced to the music. Father also arranged for him to lie on the couch, listen to the music and fall asleep. It turned out that his father wanted to tell him. The most important thing in life is to be happy. What you want to do, you have to do it. But the next day Bob found Amo's flowers. He also knew that Amo had called twice, but his father had hung up on him. He asked his father why he did that. But Dolly said seriously that this is the last mission. To break off the relationship with your ungrateful son. He is not trying to celebrate your birthday. He's trying to make a family fortune. But Bob didn't care about that. His son was the most important thing to him. He loves him more than he loves himself. As long as his son was here, he was willing to break up with his father even if he did. Dolly turns on the player. A piece of music came on. His wife told him to turn it off. But Dolly not only didn't turn it off, he also said to his wife that the heartache of the past. This was Bob's wife's favorite music before she died. 25 years ago, his wife had Alzheimer's disease. The doctor said that in the last month of her life, she would gradually forget everything until she died. Wife forgot the music for three days. 10 days she forgot Dolly. Forget Bob for 18 days. 28 days to death. But the moment before she died, she was still talking about Amo. For the past 28 days, Dolly called every day hoping Amo would come back. But Amo kept saying he was busy with work. They fell into silence. Then Dolly picked up the phone and dialed Amo's number. The voice that came was a machine voice. But Dolly said, Grandson, if you can come back a week earlier, we'll discuss the inheritance. Amo immediately picked up the phone and promised to come back in seven days for sure. 75-year-old man has a 102-year-old father. If it were anyone else, they would have to take care of him. But now the two of them are fighting. Just now, Dolly exposed his grandson's ungrateful face. But Bob was furious. He knew that he was like a beggar in the face of his son's affection. But now he's about to get a handout. Why should Bob stand in the way? He told Dolly, I know you're worried about me being disappointed again, but you need to stay out of this, because I'm willing to do it, and to welcome his son, a foreigner. Bob had made all the preparations, all the usual medicines, countless mineral water. He bought all kinds of high-end imported snacks. He also made his son's childhood bedroom spotlessly clean. But that night, Bob found out that his father was still planning to get rid of Amo. He was furious. The next day he had to go to a notary and leave the entire estate to his son. If the father didn't agree, then we'll see him in court. But Dolly said it would take years to transfer the property. I can't wait until then. Dolly gave his son a document. It was his own medical report. He has a brain tumor. The doctor said he might not live long. It turned out that Dolly had always had a wish. He wanted to travel to the highest post office in the world so that he could send his blessings to his beloved son at the highest altitude. But it's at Everest. The doctor said he was 102 years old. He had to have a full medical checkup. That's how he found the brain tumor. For the 102-year-old little man, death wasn't scary. But the only thing he couldn't worry about was Bob. His son's health was not good. If he died himself, Bob will become lonely and lonely. That's why he planned everything before. That's when Amos plane arrives. Bob went to meet it. He brought an old photo album. Inside was the church. There were heartwarming images of Bob teaching his son math. But Amo felt ashamed. He said he'd go back and catch up on the old version. But Bob insisted on not leaving. We'll talk about it right here. Bob pointed to this photo and said with pain. This is your mother's ashes. But she didn't wait for her son in the end. Your grandfather said people like you don't deserve an inheritance. But I think you should get what you deserve. Bob took out a money jar. It was Amo's childhood stash. Bob said this is what you deserve. There's 42 rupees in it. Now take this property and go back to America. See this. Dolly outside the door whistled with joy. He knew that Bob was free. He no longer had to be the beggar who begged for love. The rest of the day, Bob spent all day with his father, watching the stars together at night, going to the amusement park together during the day. When it rained, the two of them were singing and dancing in the rain, just like two kids. Soon Dolly died. He left a recording for his son. I'm sending this to you from the highest post office in the world. I wish you not to be sad. I never died while I was alive. That's why I'm not afraid of death now. I think my life is perfect. The only thing I regret is that I didn't break the Guinness record for longevity. I'll leave this task to you. Go son. You are just 43 years away. Thanks for your follow and like. We will see you next time.